This is a demo AI application built on Red Hat OpenShift AI. It simulates an AI system that generates a project proposal for a named customer. The end-to-end -end process is pluggable and can use a variety of models and components. The application can be configured to allow either blind or open A-B testing with different LLMs to compare the result and help select the best model based on performance and accuracy. For an LLM to generate a project proposal, we must augment our prompts with data from Red Hat product documentation. This data is retrieved from a vector database, so an important step is the document ingestion. I will start by going to the OpenShift AI dashboard, opening my data science project, and opening the workbench from there. The task you see here downloads the product documents from an S3 bucket to a local folder. I've used variables for the S3 bucket, local folder name, and other parameters to make the task more reusable. The second task relies on local files, again specified through the use of variables, to create embeddings that it then inserts into my Redis vector database. Now I use Alira pipelines to create a data science pipeline. I drag and drop these two tasks onto the canvas to create a simple pipeline that executes one task after another. I rely on the variables to take the output of the first task and pass it on to the input for the second one. I can now open my data science pipeline in the OpenShift AI dashboard. I can run the pipeline immediately or schedule it to run periodically. This allows me to run my RAG pipeline to refresh my vector database with the latest copy of our product documents, while monitoring and managing previous pipeline executions. But let's go back to our application again. The key to our proper text generation use case is selecting the right LLM. So let's now focus on that part. What you see here is NVIDIA's AI catalog. As you see, I have the option to select any of the models in this catalog. For each model, I am provided a URL that allows me to use the hosted version to test and preview. I configure a new model provider with this URL and switch to the main screen to generate a project proposal. You now see the proposal being generated by the model hosted in the NVIDIA API catalog. This easy, powerful pattern allows me to experiment with multiple models and pick the top two. I can then download a Helm chart table for NVIDIA NIM for the selected model. Using the OpenShift Helm installer to install the downloaded Helm chart, I can see that each chart is pre-configured for the selected model. As NIM starts up on my OpenShift platform, the model is optimized for my hardware and uses HPA to auto scale for load. I now generate project proposals for the customer using a locally deployed model. We then round robin between the models, rating each generated response. After generating a number of project proposals, I look at my Grafana dashboard to compare the ratings of the models. In Grafana, I can also compare the average latency and response time for the two models. This helps me decide which LLM to use in production. 